Hey y'all, what is going on this morning? It is Wednesday and I'm about to leave. I think it is, I don't even know what time it is. Remember I was gonna try to leave early? Well, it's 9.02 and um, I, I got dressed. Remember I told you I was gonna get dressed before I did any work. So I got dressed, shower dressed, and all ready to go, except for mascara. And um, then I did some work. And now I'm gonna actually leave. I've got a couple errands to run. I've got a meeting at noon. And this, these pants don't have pockets and I keep putting them, <laughs> putting my hands, trying to put my hands in the pockets because it has like fake pockets. So anyway, but that's okay. So speaking of what I'm wearing today, I've got on my cat print shirt. Y'all know I love it. Got it from JCPenney's, but it was a couple years ago. And it was in the junior department. I've also got on my brand new Rockstar Jeggings from Old Navy. They're in the petite size. I love them. So far, I love them. Of course, I just put them on first time wearing them. And I've got some maroon shoes on. So granted, it is the first time I've ever tried them on, ever worn them, so I don't really know uh, how I'll feel at the end of the day, but right now they feel great, and so right now I'm happy. Also, I have, let, let me, let's just go ahead and talk about it. I've got these rollers in my hair, who's texting me? I've got rollers in my hair, and um, I'm just trying to add a little curl, a little bounce to the end of my hair, and uh, I'm not wearing it like this today, although that would be a look. But um, my hair is still a little bit wet on this side, so I don't know if it's going to work as I'm hoping. I'm just I, just trying to add a little little something to the ends of my hair so it's just not straight like it always is every single day. I wear it the same way every single day. And Je uh, Jessica and I were talking about this at work yesterday. So I wear it the same way every single day. And I was thinking, should I cut my hair? Like, should I just go ahead and cut it? It's really long. It's the longest I've had it in decades decades y'all it's the longest it's been in decades and so i just like should i just cut it like i don't do anything with it and then so she asked me she goes well do you do anything with it when it's short and i'm like no actually i don't so there's no real difference in me having shorter hair or longer hair besides just the length i don't do anything to it when it's shorter i don't like, you know, some people like change up their hairstyles and they, you know, try different things. I don't. I just wear it pretty much the same every day. So that's inspired me to try to do, hence the rollers in my hair, to try to do a little something different. Um, so yeah. So the meeting at noon is um, for the downtown advisory board. The promotion committee and then it's not the full committee meeting because it's just not we're just going to like start brainstorming and jotting down some ideas and getting a plan in motion like get well not a plan in motion because we don't even have a plan we're just going to like brainstorm today and talk about the christmas season and what we want it to look like this year and what we need to do and what things we need to get together and how we need to formulate our plan then we'll start getting the plan in motion and yeah, Christmas is not for months, but, um, what, like six and a half months? But still, we, when you have events like this, it's not Christmas Day. Like, these events start happening in, happening in November. So, we have to start planning now so that we're not, like, rushed because what if we have to order stuff? What if we have to give? Like, yeah, there's just stuff we have to brainstorm and plan about. So, that's what we're going to do today. And I think that's my only thing. There is an event at North Park tonight at 5, which sounds fun because two people, one that I know, um, Vanessa, but the other one is Ginger. Uh, she is her and then this other gal, Casey, I think. Casey, Ginger, and Vanessa are going to be at North Park tonight, but it's at 5 o'clock, <sighs> which is not, I mean, you know, hey. Five o'clock in North Park's not bad, but the only way I really could go is if I could convince Marvin to go like eat at Maggiano's, which is, I could, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could convince him. But other than that, it's like going to North Park at five o'clock, like rush hour traffic. I mean, I could think of like a lot of other things to do, like cleaning the cat box with my hands than be in rush hour traffic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, <sighs> If I worked in that area or, you know, had a reason to be on that side of town anyway, then it wouldn't be such a big deal, but I'm like, ah. So, 
I love those girls. I do. I love y'all. If you're watching this, I love y'all. But I just kind of like, I don't know. But um, that's all I can think of for right now. So I'm going to get ready and head out the door. I'll take these out before I get to where I'm going. And I think I'll get a hot chocolate on the north side of town instead of the south side of town where I am now. But who knows? Because I want to get one of those letter boards. I have a letter board, but it's like a longer letter board. And I want to get a letter board that's set so we can write on there. Because we saw an idea yesterday. We mean being uh, Jessica and I. She found out an idea on Pinterest and it said like, want me to be your coach or do you need a coach or something? And it was like on a letter board and the lady was like holding it going, ah, you know, like a fun, like, ah, happy pose. And so we thought, hey, um, we could do that, but put realtor instead of coach, right? And then we'll like take pictures of each other um, and put it like, we're not going to post it the same day because, you know, we're not twinsies but um you know she's gonna post it i'm gonna post it and um we have different sets of friends but we have some friends in common too but I'm really trying to build up build up my realty business this year and get focused oh and i uploaded three videos yesterday three videos so i'm getting better at the video game <laughs> what also i said to myself so in order to not get behind more, I need to be doing um, my videos as if I'm going to be posting them, like if I'm caught up, right? So I need to be editing yesterday's video like to this morning so that I'm caught up. And then when it comes time to, so I'll have those in the bank. I won't post them yet because I'm still kind of, still wanting to post them in order that they happened. But at least when it comes time, then I can go boom, 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 boom. And, you know, hey, it's going to be not much traction on it. But uh, because I'm going to be posting, like, if I'm posting four videos, then they're going to watch all four. Some of them are short. Maybe you would. I don't know. But basically, I'm like the, the unknown vlog, like the secret vlog. Like nobody knows. And nobody's talking about it. Like Rachel Hollis says, you know, it's the morning show that no one knows and no one is talking about. And that's like my vlog. I know I said it before because I just saw myself say it on a video from February. And I thought to myself, for real though, for real, I'm like the secret one. And then once it's discovered, people are going to be like, Whoa! it's like when the treasure chest opens on, um, what was it? Uh, not Land Before Time, but Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, when he opens it and like the light just like, Whoa! it's like this energy just comes out of, it's like that when you watch my vlogs, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, and there's so many, I can catch up on her life and her build and just all the things. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I have decided to make an impromptu visit to the storage facility and get at least a box out. Because, like I said, I was hoping to have it emptied by last month, kind of, but we really don't have the garage in um, a position, if you will, to add more stuff to it. So, I'm not sure we're going to be able to completely empty this out, but I know we can get most of it emptied out, and I think we can store it in the garage. This is me right here. <laughs> anyway, I want to empty out the storage unit this month. Like this be our final month. We don't really have that much room in the garage, but um, we can make some room and there's not, well, I don't know how much stuff really would need to be stored in the garage, but we don't have those um, racks up yet that I wanted to get. Um, I wanted to talk to Rubbermaid about it actually. So that will spur me on to reach out to Rubbermaid this week and see about at least getting some design help. I'm not asking for a free product, but if you want to give it, you can. But I'm just saying, um, I'd like to partner with them on redoing, or not redoing, but doing my garage. Our garage has never been done. It's a new build. It's new construction. So I'd like to put up those the Rubbermaid storage stuff before we start moving more stuff in because 
then you move stuff in, then you have to move it all out, then you have to put it back. And so let's just like minimize the back and forth and back and forth and just get it put in there. So anyway, I'm going to reach out to Rubbermaid this week and just see if they can help me with it. The way I look at it is like, it doesn't hurt to ask, like, what's the worst they can say? No. I mean, that's, that's kind of where we are right now anyway. So like nobody's helping us design it. So I'll just ask and then see what they say. I definitely got more than I originally intended to get, but that's okay. <laughs> um, there, one's a lightweight box, one's a heavier box. And so my idea was to get a heavy box and, uh, or heavy-ish box, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Like, I know the weight of the boxes. But I saw one of the boxes, and it was kind of light. So I'm bringing that too. And then I saw a box labeled extra towels and blankets. And I'm like, it's not that cappy down here. Um, so I was like, extra towels? Like, what? Extra towels? I have all my towels. We didn't have that many. Like we, we just used white towels and we didn't have that many. And um, anyway, as it turns out, it was my, um, okay, so my, I'm sorry. My car just beeped and I'm like, um, I'm right here. So why did my car just beep? But um, I hit my key fob in my purse. Anyway, it says extra towels. And I have no idea what extra towels means because I don't, we only have, we have white towels. We only had so many towels. So what, what are you talking about, Lisa? Why did you label the box extra towels? Anyway, it was um, beach towels. So that's fantastic. Found those. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this together. So what I was thinking to myself and a little tip I was gonna pass on is the fact that when you label the box, yes, I labeled it. There is a box in there or two that is not labeled at all. So for that box, I don't even know what's inside like at all. And so I'm like, so when you're labeling the boxes though, maybe be more descriptive, like extra towels and blankets. Didn't tell me that that was actually our beach towels, which we would have need had we gone to that pool party the other day, right? So, I don't know a good way to do this either because I've seen, as a realtor especially, I've seen different systems on how to label boxes. And you th the boxes, you don't want to, you don't want to create something that is like, like if I was to create a product, just say, that's like so super intensive that you like just have no idea what's inside. So I was thinking maybe if you numbered the boxes, like did some sort of little code. For example, if you did box number one, you know, um, and then on a separate sheet that you have multiple copies of, you would put box number one contains blah, blah, blah. So that way, and like be specific, like it contains the extra beach towels. It contains the extra silverware or whatever, whatever you have in there. And so that way, when it comes time to put the boxes into storage and or move the boxes, you can say box number one, six, seven, eight, nine, and 14 go into the bedroom or wherever they go. You know what I'm saying? And then that way you kind of have like a, just a more detailed list of what goes where instead of like extra towels. Because that told me not near enough information for me to know like, oh, those are my beach towels. I didn't even realize like, I, cause I was thinking to myself, what extra towels, what extra blankets do I not have? And yeah. And so when I opened up, I was like, oh, uh, just sorry, just went over the bump. So anyway, that's my little tip, my little moving tip. Maybe just number the boxes and then on a separate sheet that you have multiple copies of, put a very detailed description of what's inside. Rollers have come out. I have not fluffed out my hair yet, but I'll do that in a second here. I'm just coming to find a letter board because like I said earlier, Jessica and I are gonna, I just couldn't think of her name for a second. Jessica and I are gonna do that little 
like photo thing like we're at, ah, we're holding the sign and it says something cute like call me if you need a realtor or whatever anyway we'll think of something fun that at hobby lobby and just looked on the clearance rack and they've got this cute little candle it's like a dollar so i can do a dollar and they've also got fall decor out which it's not even it's not even summer technically i mean it's hot in texas but it's not summer yet but they've also got some other wall decor out nothing really like catching my eye necessarily because i look at some stuff and i'll show you so i look at this one right here and i think to myself my daughter can make that for me <laughs> but will she um, life is better with a cat, no doubt, but I have two cats and I don't want just one on the picture. So I'm going to look for the letter boards now because that's what I came for. I looked at the tiered stands, but they were not on sale. So I'm going to bypass those today and get the letter board and, um, I think she wanted to be in my video. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to go get the letter board and then get out of here. Also, that lady was watching me too. She's like... <laughs> what I'm a vlogger. Okay, what's this? Looks like new decor that I've not seen before. Kind of cute. I forgot to tell you, and I know you were dying to know, but I'm gonna do like a soft yellow, not like a super bright yellow, but a soft yellow in the powder room. And I'm doing the dusty pink gold ish colors in the office bathroom and then in the guest bathroom I'm gonna do that aqua color so um, just looking for little knickknacks again not on my list of things to do but I thought while I'm here I'm gonna look for like little things to possibly use in those spaces the spaces are um, well like the uh, space in the powder room the mud bath it is um, small i don't have a whole lot of counter space to be putting a whole lot of stuff but i could put up a decorative shelf which i will do and then i could just put a little bit of decor on there nothing fancy and like i said i wanted to put that story up there so that while you're sitting on the rest of you'd have that like one page story because like really you shouldn't be in there longer than that anyway right but um i've not found the idea and I think I'm just gonna call the coffee shop that I saw it at and say, hey, where'd you get it? Where'd you get the idea? Did you just make it up? I don't know. Cause like maybe it's on Etsy and I can buy like an, a story from that person and then buy like multiple stories from that, that person and then kind of change them out every now and then. So like can people come over like, oh, it's a new story. I think it's hilarious. No, nobody else seems to be thinking. Like I could put like a gallery wall and while you're sitting down, you're like, Oh, wait a minute that's like a, that's a story and then wouldn't that be funny no just me okay probably mm-hmm Christmas hey guys I got Jessica with me again and we're drinking Starbucks I got a Starbucks hot chocolate venti hot chocolate because I wanted all of the hot chocolate goodness and we're going to a planning meeting for the Christmas season I told you guys about it this morning but we're on the promotion committee on the chair she's a member and we're gonna talk about it today. Did, did she almost fall? I'm not gonna stare. <laughs> so here we are. Cheers. Hey y'all. It's almost five o'clock. I'm headed home. Uh, it looks like it's gonna rain again. Obviously I did not go to North Park for that other event. Partly for several reasons. One, it looks like it's gonna rain. I don't really wanna drive to Dallas and it be raining. And number two, Marvin is home, which I knew he'd be home, but just wanna go and kinda hang out with my hubby, really enjoy spending time with him. Which is fortunate because we live together. Uh, also, I got confirmation that my client was fully approved for the rent house that I showed the other day on my birthday. And I'm showing another two rent houses tomorrow to a client. Hold on, don't fall, oh, don't fall, don't fall. I'm showing two rent houses tomorrow to another client and she should, she, I think she is, uh, has good credit and stuff. So she should be approved, um, if she likes the place and she applies. So we'll see if not, 
We've got a couple more lined up that I can show her later. And what else? Oh, more great content planning time with Jessica today. And that is always a fun thing. Oh my goodness, looks like a storm is coming in. I'm gonna buckle down. I'm gonna get some content batched up tonight so I can start posting. Y'all, I am feeling motivated. I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling like ready to go with it. And it's so much fun when there's like another person in the office that kind of is excited about it. And she's new, so of course she's like, like a different level of being excited about it because um, she wants to do well. And so for me, who's been doing it for a little bit, it makes it a lot more fun to to also do it because and it's like yeah let's let's get a lot of business let's sell a lot of houses you know so yeah now i'm home and i'm pulling into the garage I'm gonna unload those boxes that i got earlier from the storage unit and i'm gonna make us some chicken sausage penne I didn't say penne pasta it just said penne so i'm gonna make that and yeah Y'all will get to see another Meals with Marvin and Lisa. Marvelous Meals with Marvin and Lisa. Hey, y'all. So, um, tonight's episode of Marvelous Meals with Marvin and Lisa was postponed. Marvin came home and he was like really tired. And he's been working a lot and he works in a warehouse. So, it's kind of um, strenuous type work. And he's just needing to rest and relax. And in fact, it's 7.30 and he's already in bed. So, um, I just made us a quick dinner of, don't judge, but I made macaroni and cheese with tuna fish in it, a can of tuna, and then we topped it with crumpled um, potato chips, ruffles to be exact. And I take off my makeup every day with Huggies baby wipes not sponsored not an ad and I can't find um, we don't have any more actually We just have like two or three left and so um, I'm going to Use this <laughs> this is from my most recent trip to Washington State the Pacific Northwest and it is a cleansing cleansing and makeup remover towelette alcohol free moisturizes and conditions because I'm gonna save the baby wipes in case anything else I might need them for. I'll get more baby wipes tomorrow. But do you ever do that? Like you're down to the last one, you think, what if something big happens? And I need like all of them, so I'm not gonna use them. But I'm gonna edit some videos tonight. I'm hoping to get at least four or five done, which I know sounds like a lot, but hey. And I'll try to spread them out, like to schedule them over the next um, you know, few hours or whatever. And um, like maybe tomorrow morning too, so it's not like just all like, poof, here's five videos. But I'm gonna try to get five videos done and edit last night's video, maybe edit tonight's video. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I really do appreciate it. Even though I didn't do like a meals tonight or I didn't do anything really, and I don't really have anything planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. And, oh, I'm doing two showings. I'm showing two rent houses, so that might be fun. And then Friday, I'm supposed to have a CLC get-together, which is the Community Leadership Circles get-together. And I'm not really sure where they're having that one. Let me see if I can tell. Um, no, I didn't put, a, didn't put an, a location. So, mystery. <laughs> now, I'll look it up and figure out. But also... Marvin has volunteer training on Saturday. Summer Sizzle is Saturday as well, which is uh, kind of like a celebration for our town. And yeah, so, and then I'm going on a tour of Garland's downtown area on Monday. I've got book club on Wednesday. I brought those two boxes home and if I combined them all, they all fit into one box now. So I'm like halfway emptied both boxes and I put things away. I'm washing some clothes. So I'm getting some stuff done, but um, it's just gonna be a quiet evening. And that's all. So thanks guys for watching. And don't forget to be kind to others. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.